Welcome to the Simply Financial Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Calandra. Today, I wanted to cover four things to know about exchange-traded funds. Uh, first off, exchange-traded funds are also known commonly as ETFs. In fact, during today's episode, I will use ETFs. Uh, they've become wildly popular over these last couple of years. In many ways, they have supplanted mutual funds as the investment vehicle of choice for Main Street Americans. Mutual funds still dominate the mutual, uh, excuse me, the 401k qualified retirement plan landscape. But I think there's ample evidence that outside of that space, the retirement plan space, ETFs have overtaken mutual funds in terms of popularity. As an example, uh, I'm recording this in December 2021. I know it won't be published until early 2022, but in November 2021, $74 billion was added to ETFs. That's a ton of money for a single month. So let's talk a little bit about some things I want you to know about ETFs. First off, it makes it very easy to diversify. There's all different kinds of ETFs in the marketplace. There is a ton of innovation. This has been going around, uh, going on a while. So you could do ETF investing into all different shapes and sizes and strategies. A few examples, you could do passive index investing like the S&P 500, or the NASDAQ. There are options if you want to invest in a particular sector. Keep in mind, I'm only using these in examples. I'm not recommending anything. This is just a for instance. But you could invest in sectors. Let's say you're interested in the financial sector or in biotechnology, energy. There are options to accommodate that. You could specify ETFs by country or region, say South Korea or Europe, again, good examples. There are also lots of alternatives, not just in stocks, but also in bonds. There are even options for alternative things, commodities, ETFs, private equity. Uh, there's all kinds of different uh, creative alternative kind of ETFs that are available to you. So as you could see from this description, it becomes very easy to help build out a diversified portfolio. So that's the first thing. Second thing is the cost of ETFs uh, can be very inexpensive. Now again, there's lots of different shapes and sizes. Not all ETFs are very inexpensive, but generally speaking, generally speaking, ETFs are inexpensive. Uh, they tend to be less expensive than your average mutual fund. Again, talking in generalities, in both instances, I'll note, ETF costs and mutual fund costs are trending down, and that has been the trend for a while now. So there's lots of inexpensive options you can choose from. The third thing I want to talk about is that ETFs trade easily. You could basically buy and sell them uh, during any trading day that the markets are open. So you have the ability to trade during the day. This is in contrast to mutual funds where they only transact once a day at the close. So if you buy or sell a mutual fund, you're going to get the price at the next closing date for the market. So if I want to put in an order to sell a mutual fund at 1 o'clock, uh, during the day when the market's open, I'll get the 4 o'clock closing price. In an ETF, I'll, I'll be able to trade that during the day, much like individual stocks. And that also means that you could use trading strategies that you cannot use with mutual funds. So you could do things like stop loss orders, limit orders. Uh, we do not do options at Elliott Wealth Management Services. But some people do trade options, and if you wanted to trade options, you can do it on ETFs, like individual stocks, not available for mutual funds. And the last of my four points is that ETFs are often described as being tax-friendly. That term is being used 
in comparison to mutual funds. But generally speaking, uh, ETFs are more tax-friendly than mutual funds. Uh, in short, you do not realize capital gain recognition until you sell a position in an ETF. In mutual funds, it's a little bit muddier. You could have capital gain recognition, pay capital gains taxes, even if you don't sell the mutual fund. You may have to recognize it even by holding it. And that's one of the key reasons why ETFs are described as being more tax friendly than mutual funds. So just to review, we talked about four key things I want you to know about ETFs. They can be an easy way to diversify. Uh, they can, can be very cost effective. Uh, they are traded easily. And lastly, they can be tax friendly. Of course, the tax friendliness is key in non-retirement accounts. In a retirement account, that tax friendly element is not very important. So thanks for listening to today's episode. Please check out ElliottWealth.com, my practice's website, to find more information about me, my team, how we help our clients win with money. And I will be back with you on the next episode of the Simply Financial Podcast very soon. Thanks for listening today. The views expressed are not necessarily the opinion of Sage Point Financial Incorporated and should not be construed directly or indirectly as an offer to buy or sell any securities mentioned herein. Investing is subject to risks, including loss of principal invested. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. No strategy can assure a profit nor protect against loss. Please note that individual situations can vary. Therefore, the information should be relied upon when coordinated with individual professional advice. Please note the information being provided is strictly as a courtesy. When you link to any of the websites provided here, you are leaving this website. We make no representation as to the completeness or accuracy of the information provided at these websites, nor is the company liable for any direct or indirect technical or system issues or any consequences arising out of your access to your use of third-party technologies websites, information, and programs made available through this website. When you access one of these websites, you are leaving our website and assume total responsibility and risk for your use of the websites you are linking to. Securities and advisory services are offered through Sage Point Financial Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC, insurance services offered through Elliott Wealth Management, LLC, not affiliated with Sage Point.